Hey everybody, Corbin here. We got ourselves a Diamond Select um, Deluxe Azula action figure. Yeah, words. Anyways, um, she looks fantastic. This is her and her just, you know, basic fire, fire nation outfit. Don't really know what you would call it. Um, now with Az Azula and Aang, I've come to realize <laughs> some of the hand work um, they get a little lazy with and there is you can turn these but there's not very good articulation in her arms because of the big ruffled elbow areas but yeah um, now she comes with this effect but Aang has this same effect but in white so I assume his is supposed to be like air and hers is lightning but I guess I could pretend it's water as well um does this have a little hole that can fit yeah I just wanted to see yep fits in there um and then she comes with the little stand pegish areas as diamond select figures come with normally I have her displayed with this lightning hand and it's so heavy that I normally have this there to hold it up because these hands are, I don't know, they're just hard to work with. But let me see how close I can get this. Show you some of the messed up hand detail. You see that? They just like stop. It's flat, like doesn't even give the detail for the fingers. Gives the pointer finger and then it's just flat. But I'm also realizing that's not supposed to be full fingers now. It's supposed to be two fingers pointing. Doesn't have detail for the second finger. And it's supposed to just be coming out of the two fingers and the rest is bent down. I've never realized that. But still, it's a weird, uh, the, the flatness here, it's lazy. But I guess that's, guess that's the only way they'd be able to stick it on there. Um, now she comes with the hands that are on her. And then two grippy type hands. A fist and a fist, which one's on her hand right now. I guess I need to refocus this. And then two open palmed hands. And then this effect here with the hands. It's supposed to be like that. But like I've all this time I've been thinking it was her shooting out lightning out all of it. And it was just flat. But I'm now realizing that there's two fingers bent down. And then there's just extra whiteness. Um, but yeah and then this effect. Uh, the Aang whenever I eventually review him. I knew one of his hands was kind of funky. Felt like maybe it was missing a finger. So we'll sort of give it another look and maybe it wasn't that maybe that was never the case and I was just misunderstanding like I have, was with this figure I don't know but yeah there's so many other avatar characters that need these figures but yeah I think her face sculpt is fantastic and it's got the like crazy little strands of hair I feel like when she's starting to lose her mind I feel like this is like end of season three Azula looks real good um, but yeah there's so many other great avatar figures I would love to get figures of um, they have two different Aangs but obviously you could do a handful of all of the different characters which I mean for real Aangs about the only one out of the main group Aang and Zuko who have like distinct different looks throughout the show which is Zuko we only have like Zuko when he lets his hair down but Azula we could probably get another look Katara could probably get a, a later seasons look. Sokka and Toph, I feel like they can't really have much more looks. But Uncle Ozai, uh, they could have more looks. And then we could do a Ty Lee and May figures. King Boomy, assuming these figures are not figures they've already done. But uh, yeah, let me know down below, guys, if you have any of these Avatar figures. What do you think of Azula as a character, you know, villain, a character, whatever, in general? Like, how do you feel about her? Um, if you want any Diamond Select or Avatar Diamond Select figures, you can get them at the various locations of Classic Classics, guys. And, yeah, until next time.